Everybody and welcome back. Um, so right away, what do we think? The Sol Note Zero Two. Sorry, it's not called the Sol Note Zero Two. It's the Zero Two. The Z- this is going to get confusing really quickly. The Zero Two is a rounded off IM. It's a balanced sound. It's a uh, easygoing sound that still feels fun. That still brings the spirit of the music out, but it does lose on that. Um, really fresh, bright, clean, and clear, airy sound that the original Zero does have. Um, I don't think that this is going to be a clear-cut case today of which one you will prefer. I think, for me, I prefer the original. I'll say that right off the bat. Um, Because I do really personally have a strong affinity, a strong taste for bright stuff sometimes when it's done well and when it's not fatiguing because there's wonderful qualities to get from the upper mids and treble when played right um and i think the original Sol note zero plays it right i don't think it overstays its welcome i think it's great especially for the price but there might be a time where you're trying to listen to music that has a lot of those synthetic high notes or high hats are being hit a lot and you do find it distracting at times in a certain mood or a certain artist, a certain album, etc., etc. So I do think that there is room at least in a collection or um, for your first pick of an IEM outright between the two for people who want that more laid back feel, okay? Um, where you lay off of the high notes a little bit and balance things out. And I think that's what the Zero Two is trying to do. Um, but when people heard the two of them side by side in a recent demo that I uploaded, uh, people immediately said that the Zero Two was war- much warmer than the original. And they asked a lot of comments. I was kind of surprised. A lot of people said, can we compare it to the warm HBB from QKZ? Because that's known to be a very popular and uh, acclaimed uh, warm set, especially on my channel. I've actually strongly recommended the HBB for a very warm experience. So let's compare. Let's bring in the HBB and see how the reigning champion of budget warm competes against the the Zero Series offering of a relatively warmer set, at least compared to its predecessor.
Okay. Um, okay, before we go any further, the glove is to help you um, at home have a more comfortable listening experience in case my hand was creating more noise in the mic. I'm hoping the glove can maybe absorb some uh, knocking and, and squeezing sounds from my hand, but we'll see. It might not do anything. <laughs> um, so back to the subject. The HBB is a very, very warm set to the point where I don't think it's very fair, actually, to compare it at all to the uh, Zero Two. Because, you know, I, I've come to this think this thought that there's a... How do I put this? In art, in, in music, in food, there can be tastes, you know? There could be things that you want to do because you personally are in the mood for it. I'm not always in the mood for warm, but when I am, I love to eat it. <laughs> Okay, and when I want bright and cold, I'll go for that. Now, it's the same thing with music, okay? I think there's times where you want warm in your ears. I think where you want to eat it, where you want to listen to a cozy blanket, and you're just trying to chill. Um, but it comes with the admittedly uh, low-fidelity uh, experience. You know, when you listen to something like the HBB after coming out of the, the Sol Notes Zero, you can't help but really miss all that wonderful, juicy, fresh, clear, salty s detail, okay? And uh, maybe that's where Critical came up with the word Sol Notes because they're, the notes are salty, okay? Sol is Latin for salt. So maybe he had that in mind in the naming, think it was very subjectively appropriate to, to, to describe it like that. It's a salty sound. Just like when you put a dash of salt in your mouth or a dash of salt on your food to go with your bite, it brings the flavor out. And that's what the original Sono Zero really does. It's so remarkable how clear as day that sensation is. It really is like eating salt. It pops in flavor, but too much salt too much and you get sick of it you kind of want to go somewhere else and that's exactly what the zero two is the zero two is a more balanced meal a more balanced bite i'm not going to say if i prefer it more or less yet i um not necessarily um because it depends on your experience i think I, okay, I will say that overall, if I had, if you had to twist my arm and say, which one do you prefer? Which one do you recommend? The Zero Two or the Salty Zero? <laughs> um, I would have to say the Salty Zero because it's just so fun. It's, and, and, and I'm assuming that most people in this hobby and who are watching this video, um, given the budget of these things, the, 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 the affordable price of these things, could maybe consider getting both the Salty Bite and the Balanced Bite and just have both. Okay, but if I were to say like, which one do you have to buy first? I would say the salty one because it's just so tasty. Like, I don't want you to miss out on those bites. Okay, but quickly and soon after, you should probably buy the balanced one, the zero two, so that you can have a more easygoing average experience overall while you're still getting some detail more than you would with the warm stuff. The warm stuff like the HBB is really, and the Legato, and the Maestro SE, all these really, and the Fudu, which I praised recently, are really playing a different sport entirely. Like, you have to be in the mood for warm, okay? Um, so that being said, let's bring in one more competitor, something else from HBB, the um, HBB Con. This one takes the warmth um, and brings it closer to the balanced middle while borrowing a little bit of the trebled excitement. In fact, the con is somewhere closer probably to the salty zero. I want you to hear what I'm talking about in just a moment. I want you to listen carefully, especially to the bright spots as well as how the timbre changes. I think that there is like a voicing, a, a kind of expression of the instruments that seems to like the very voice the, the the tonal balance is shifted so much in hbb's style that um with his collaborations that you can really tell the difference between critical style and and hbb's okay
All right, so this is going to be pretty much my conclusion here. Um, this is this is really wild, and I think it says so much. That one clip alone, like if all you did was listen to that one segment of tracks, comparing the salty zero, the zero two, and the con, you would you you go through a roller coaster of of reactions and perceptions and thoughts about what one I am means compared to the other. Like at first. When the con first comes on, I go, wow, that is brighter compared to the Zero Two. It has this fidelity. It has this clarity of detail that I love. But then it get, it's a little funky. It has a, a sort of funkiness in the way it pulls in the upper end. I can't quite put a finger on it exactly, but it when you're listening to Crinical's tastes for so much, his tuning preferences, his timbre preferences... When you switch over to HBB, there is like a stark contrast with the interpretation of how instruments are voiced. And um, I can't yet tell where I would fall on recommending exactly because there's like a mindset where like you can hear the con and you just hear the funk and you're like, I, I kind of want to go back to critical. But then there's also a mindset um, where when you go to the con, you go, wow, I love the detail. I love that it maintains some low-end thump while also having that detail. I just love the overall flavor profile. Um, and you you can actually get used to the timbre to the point where that's your preference. And I don't know what to tell people. I really – I don't. I'm at a loss for words. I, I do think that the more I listen to both – the more the, 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 the con and any either of the Zero series, the more I do find, I think, I think my preference is leaning towards Crinical's take. That's only personal preference, I must say, because clearly the con has something very likable in it that I think if, especially if you only listen to the con for a long time and you have that brain burn-in where like you're used to it, then when you go to Critical, you could feel like his Zero series is missing something magical that the con did, does have. You just have to like experiencing it, experience it long enough maybe. You have to get used to it maybe, but it's there. So I'm, I'm torn. I'm torn. I do think personally I prefer the Zeros overall. Um, when, all, when all is said and done, when the dust settles from the roller coaster ride of switching back and forth, I do think I prefer the Zeros. Um, and I think – so here's my conclusion in, in a nutshell, okay? I think if you're going to go for a brighter, clearer, more detailed sound, there's just no competition. Um, the Sol Notes Zero, I think, is a marvelous, marvelous um, offering to consider. I think the Sol Notes Zero is my number one in this video. Um, it's hard to argue it. It's hard to argue it. Um, if you're also going for bright, though, the con can offer something that uniquely different in its in its timbre style, and yet still offer that clear, wonderful detail, that freshness that you might want. So it's it's kind of a coin toss um, for some people, depending on your taste. So the con could be your number one, but for me, it's a close second place. A close second place if you're going for bright, but if you're going for the flavor of balanced then there's really no competition there. Um, in the budget territory, I think the Zero Two is one of the best, if not possibly the best, uh, for a balanced budget approach. Um, I think it has, I didn't share this before, but when I put them in my fir for the first time in my ears, one of the very first words that came to my mind when I listened to the Zero Two on any track was 3D. I get a kind of spaciousness with it, despite it not playing the tricks of the treble and the bass thumpiness and all this stuff. Um, it still is able to give a spaciousness. Um, I don't know how it does it exactly. I don't know which part of the frequency response is responsible or what kind of uh, collaboration, if you will, between the frequencies is going on. But I get that impression. The Zero Two has a as a, as a borderline holographic feel, a, or not holographic, but just a space that I really do enjoy. So it's a strong recommendation. A strong recommendation. I have to do more thought about my my extensive, you know, inventory of stuff to make uh, final conclusions whether or not it's like a favorite of all time sort of thing. I don't think it's that. I don't think it's that. 
because the zero two does even though it has that wonderful spaciousness and balance and 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 tasteful natural timbre it it's just missing something of a spark that the sol notes zero hints that we can get from our iems so the salt the so it's the first place is sol note zero is the salty zero salt wins okay salt tastes good <laughs> The con is shortly thereafter, rank number two, maybe 1.5, rank number one and a half. <laughs> and then rank number two for a balanced approach, I would go for the zero two. And then I think somewhere, not even in third place, um, is the HBB and all other warm gear. It's just, they're, they're playing a different sport. They're not even ranked. They're just off in the bleachers enjoying some popcorn while everybody else is trying to compete fiercely. They're just chilling. <laughs> um, all right, guys. Um, I'm not going to end it with an outro today. I just wanted to talk more and keep it brief. Uh, I hope this was somewhat insightful. Uh, please feel free. If you want more demos, if you want to hear these with more extensive experiences, more track variety, please check out the demos now available on my second channel. Check the link in the description and pinned comment. If you like my work, pin, uh, like, subscribe, share it with others. Consider supporting me on Patreon, all that jazz. It's been nice, guys. See you for the next one.